Oh, hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. I pressed the button, but it hadn't told me that we were here. Hadn't told me we were live. Uh, so good afternoon. <laughs> uh, it's Wednesday. It's the 26th of October. It's two o'clock and I am Sam from Be Crafty. How are you? Um, thank goodness all that silliness happened when essentially no one was here. I was here by myself. Um, but you know, gotta say it. Um, because it's how we do things. Um, so, have you had a splendid day? The cat's meowing already. It's sunny outside. Um, well, it's sunny here, sorry, uh, which is quite nice because um, there was talk of rain. None has happened, thankfully. Um, and yeah. So... I hope you've had a lovely um, couple of weeks because it's a couple of weeks since I was with you. Last time I was here, if I'm very efficient, I can show you what I did. Very efficient. Uh, it's not... Oh, craft the lunch. Uh, very efficient. Not normally uh, words that I use to describe myself. Um, but, you know, I'm just waiting for my um, laptop to wake up so I can actually have a conversation with you, you know? So, what did I do last time we were here? It was definitely... Ah, let's put the book the right way up. That would work, wouldn't it? Um, where were we? We're towards the back. No. Ah, there we are. That's what we did last time. Um, funny looking at the colours that I've selected for today. Um, but we're going to use them slightly differently. Um, which I hope you won't mind. Um... If anybody's talking to me, I'm really sorry. I haven't um, got my laptop awake yet. It's thinking about its life choices, what it wants to be when it grows up. Um, and I'm hoping at some stage in the next minute or two, sorry about the noise, we'll, um, we'll be able to have a conversation. Uh, but if you are here, thank you so much uh, for joining me. Um, and if you are yet to arrive, once you do, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, it's it's waking up. Um, it's, it's thinking about uh, things. So anyway, that one is now live on YouTube if you want to go back and have a look. Um, and what we are going to work in... Oh! My journal just gifted me a tag. Looks like it might go. We'll keep that. Um, yeah. We're going to work in this little beauty today. Um, it's been a while since I have um, gifted myself some time to put into this journal. Um, because as you may or may not know. So, here we go. We're awake. Shazza, hello. Dominique, hello. Alison. Um, Bevela, how are you all? Well, I know my Bev is because I spent the morning with her already, because uh, it's Wednesday. Anyway, shall we do something in here? Uh, we're, we're prepped, uh, we're, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We are gessoed, um, on a just-in-case basis. But I thought I'd use the oxide sprays just because I haven't for a while, um, and it seemed like a like a good a good option. Um, I found I found myself out some of the um, Be Crafty stamping tissue. Not necessarily that I'm going to stamp on it, uh, but I'm just going to use it to protect the under under pages. Um, and then use it for something else another day. So, I'm just going to chop a bit off. If you have this stamping tissue, it is brill. Uh, actually, especially for in journals like this. So that if you want to, because it's a heavily textured card. It's very, very thick. Like, I don't know if you can see. It's super, super thick. Does it tell us on here? 
440 GSM. Like, it's, it's thick. It, it means it. So, I've got some stamping tissue. And that's just so that really I don't have to worry about it. I tend not to worry about it, but I definitely don't. That sponge. Oh, the, the cake. I've got, I'm so miles away then. So miles away. That has been my uh, mantra for the morning. I'm, I'm not, um, people kept talking to me today. And you know, you know when, I can't think of, you know when you just like, all your cylinders aren't, you know, they're just not all cylinders. Right, are we ready? So, we're going to spray the colour on. We're going to dry in between layers. Just get all my, all my pieces of equipment. Just recommended it to someone in another group. It's fantastic. So on a, on a textured uh, paper or cardstock like this, if you want a perfectly stamped image, going straight onto it, it's just not going to work. Um, there's texture in there and you need a good flat surface. So if you stamp onto your tissue paper, um, then you can use your matte medium, your preferred glueage, and there you go. It's on there. Yeah. Sherry Purdue, hello from Florida. That's exciting. Florida. What's the weather like in Florida today? I've never been to Florida, uh, hence my excitement. Um, right. <laughs> so sorry. So I've got uh, pickle, picked raspberry, uh, carved pumpkin, Peacock feathers and fossilised amber. Now, fossilised amber isn't actually my favourite yellow. Um, mustard seed is. I'm just going to give you a very quick comparison because, shock horror, I do have a mustard seed. Um, there is the difference. But this is the one I want today because the gradient, you know, dictionary toilet paper, um, from through the carved pumpkin to the fossilized amber, I just think I'll get a smoother transition. I've got no other big words today, they're all going to be really short. Okay, uh, you've lost your only brain cells to COVID. Beautiful 70 degrees going up to 80. Okay, so we have to double it and add 30, so that's 25 here. Oh, I'm not good with the heat, Sherry. I like, when's the winter? That's That'll be the time for me to uh, come to Florida then. I mean, I just I just need a little, a little lottery win before I can get there. Anyway. So if I... So I'm going to spray some colour on. Now, the reason I like to use spray sometimes is the intensity of colour, obviously. Um, but... Hello, Angela. How are you, darling? Um... It's the speed. So we're going to cover this background. Don't panic, everyone. I know this isn't a me thing to do, but we are. So the oxide sprays, as you can hear, they have that little bearing in there so that they can move. Hold on, let me show you one that hasn't that one. So you see how the sort of the sediment lies at the bottom. Um, now, you don't want all of that to go up the spout. So it's a sort of a circular shape. Oh, oh, oh. I held it by the lid. Hold on, we're back. So it's sort of a circular thing, or back to front, but not up and down. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me, so let's let's just do it. I mean, we just we are just gonna literally go for it and get it on there. Now, like I say, I'm gonna dry between layers. Bear in mind, this stuff is reactivated with water if I wanted to move it. So, for example, before before I do that, let me grab this guy. If I wanted to smooth that colour out there, I could. I don't mind doing that because we might do that in a bit. So I'll just, I'll just put that back on. Yeah, see, I'm not good with the heat. Um... Actually, I think in my previous life, I think it was a polar bear. Um, 
Now bear in mind that is I, I have a a funny skin condition uh, where my skin blisters in the sunlight and that's why as a child I loved to worship the sun. So there we are. Um, so it's mostly dry so I'm going to go straight in. So again shaking sort of side to side not front top to bottom if that makes sense. So this is the fossilised amber. Now bear in mind, if at any point we think, oh, don't know whether I love it. The great thing about this is we can either just go over it and start again. Um, or we just change the colour. We just change it. Now, I am going to move that yellow around. And you see how this sort of orange is starting to form. So it's a speed thing, if you remember, like I said earlier. If I want to move it or take some of the colour away, I can use a mister. Make the colour start to run. I feel like I've said about three things and done two on the way, but you know. And like I said, the great thing is we can always add more colour back in. So if, so over here where I've sprayed the um, fossilised amber here, if I wanted to put the pink back in, I can. Because it just goes over the top. Because these are the oxide sprays, so they sit atop of each other. Which is why they're so much fun to use. Mostly dry, <laughs> mostly. And then the carved pumpkin. Now I'm just going to use, I was just working out what to use, my big Dina brush. That's quite a lot of orange, isn't it? We're going to take some of that back, I think. It's really quite zingy, though. I like it. There's my wet cloth gone. Now, this tissue will absolutely 100% get used for something. Will it be today? Not entirely sure. Haven't decided. Um, But this, so what this has done is it's given us an instant background in terms of the colours on there. With it being a textured paper cardstock, um, it means that it's cheerful. Wow, no white space. Hold on, Alison. I have Jesso. <laughs> Sarah Lou, hello. Has Bliss settled in? Hope she's living her best life with Rodders. It's not quite dry, just give me a little moment. Probably because I've put the product on there. But you'll see as it dries, the colour does start as it dries, you'll see the yellow's coming through here. Coming back. You see? You sure I'll put some back in? You know me. She's not very patient today. Shock horror. Who knew? Let's get them back out of the way now hmm she says hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking we'll keep that tissue paper in situ for a minute because perspective dots and our peacock feathers I'm not surprised. <gasps> Ooh, then I'm going to flip this over. Well, that doesn't look how I thought it was, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. Hmm. 
okay. I'm going to spritz it with water. Again, this may not be the right thing. See how it's starting to go green? Because what it's done is it's adopted, it has adopted some of the colour. Oh, but that looks cute, doesn't it? Right. Well, Angela, I think you have very eloquently said what we were all thinking there. Very eloquently. Oh, and it makes a nice pattern on your hand. <laughs> so next, pop that to one side. This is from Dinkable Set. Bev's going to come and help us. Now I'm going to grab the Pink Raspberry ink pad, which is the pink we used over here. Very colourful for me, isn't it? But I like it. I don't think you're going to be surprised to hear me say this has taken a slightly different route to the one I planned. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, Shaz. If Dave gave you COVID, um, has he? I mean, uh, you're we, you're good. You're okay. Right, quick waft with the heat gun again. Because sometimes you do have to put the, excuse me, hiccups, you do have to put the colour in to be able to take it away. You see how it's, I'm just going to hold it up for you. Get that out of the way a sec. Can you see how the colour started to bleed into the, um, essentially the creases of the paper? Um, the texture it's taking it all in and really making a very different shape um but that's quite cool so i'm hoping you can see that hoping right what no white space oh oh um Can you right this is really bizarre have you guys got a picture because i don't i'll keep going until someone says uh, sam where are you what are you doing ah brilliant okay um i don't know what's happening Yeah, I actually have no idea what it's doing. Uh, I'm hoping we're back. I was not spraying my screen. Uh, <laughs> I'll be back. Anyway, um, I'm just <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I'm so sorry okay okay back in the room Whew. that was a moment there because i actually really wasn't sure how i was um going to fix that situation so welcome back i'll maybe not hold anything quite close to the screen again um yeah <laughs> right uh my oh, my current favorite favorite white gesso ever uh is this one it's fabulous um it's just, it's just blinking marvellous. Bit of a dry brush situation. You know I love this. 
Now I'm stippling on because you can see already it starts to pick up the colour underneath. Now white space, it's an interesting theory because it's not going to be white over this. Now I could use um, the gloss spray but I quite like that it adopts some of the colour which is why I do it this way. gonna go so I just have to make my brain think and it's not it's it's not its forte today I've never done a paint pour judging by what I could see on my screen just a moment ago I'm not sure I ever will And I'm aware it's kind of we've we've put paint on and now we're essentially covering it back up. But because this is um, picking up the colour of underneath, it doesn't cover it up. So it gives you the impression that you're taking the space back um, and it gives you the impression that you're going to be putting white space in. But essentially you're not. I know I say this too much, but does that make sense? Let's try again. Please can I copy the effect we just saw? I don't know that that's a power that I have. I just, I, I don't, I don't know that that's something I can do. It's a very strange thing there. Oh, thanks, Annie. Where's that horrible cloth gone? Hmm. Only because I, I just, I'm going to put my sleeve in it, aren't I? I know who I am. I know what I'm like. Right. So... This one. Do we fancy some texture paste? Because I do. I have more talents than I'm aware of. <laughs> I also have some that I wish I didn't have. You know, capability to annoy my sister. Um, is it, that's that's at an excellent level. There is my palette knife. So I've got the matte distress texture paste. And I'm going to use some of the lines, but just on this side and there. Okay. It's a super light formula. I'm just sort of scooping it around to show you. It's brilliant. The great thing about it is, and one of my favourite bits is, that the stuff that you don't use can go straight back in the pot. And that it's that fast to use. That bit's a bit tall, so we'll just take that off. And yes, there's a bit of colour gone back in the pot. Am I bothered? No. Hope I don't upset anyone. <gasps> no, absolutely not. Uh, but paint pouring seems to waste so much paint for me, I couldn't do it. I think the thing with... Yeah, yeah, the short answer is I agree. Um, but the effect's just so gorgeous. Like, I think if there's a way for them to reuse what's sort of underneath, um, then fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I agree. It does seem like there's a lot of... Yeah, yeah exactly, Beth. Another inkable you don't have. Oh, this one's spectacular. I know I say that about all of them. Um, but they are pretty cool. Um, also, I discovered I did what I like to refer to as a Beverly earlier. I went into my, um, what are these things we use? An inkable stack. 
and found that I'd left this one with texture paste all in it. Oopsie. Uh, so, um, my Mr. Mark Green cleaned it for me. He's very good. Uh, we're going to use this with some black ink in just a little while. You know, because who are we without any black ink on here? <laughs> right then. Next. So, as I was saying earlier, stamping uh, directly onto this as cardstock is not the easiest thing to do. It's just not um, because of the texture. So I took the liberty of getting some bits uh, oh, stamped and cut out for us. So from the, where have they gone? Doodle Art range. That there young Beverly had, look at these. So I've got a few stamped and cut out, and then I thought we could um, we could colour them with the colours that we've used. That sounded really Irish, as in, you know what I mean? Right, let's get these guys on here. Now, there's two ways of doing this, okay? So we can... Where are those ink pads gone? That's going to sit over there while the... Uh, thing dries these aren't quite the same colors that's okay oh yeah that's mustard seed <gasps> best yellow ever right and some water this could all go horribly wrong couldn't it a good brush or a bad brush whichever brush you've got in fact let's get a bigger brush because what i do like to do is um make you aware that Make accuracy on these doesn't have to be there all the time. You can just put a bit of colour. It will all look better in a minute, I promise. Then we'll get some yellow, which is obviously going to blend in really well with that orange. We're going to get that nice sort of seamless... I've dipped the brush into the um, my water, and because these are water reactive inks, what means is what that means is that they're going to sort of blend really quite well. And then hopefully the pink is going to go in there. I didn't put enough out, and again because of everything I just said. The colour's going to blend out nicely. And if you find that it doesn't, a bit more water, because my brush is almost dry now. And then when they sit on the page, now we're going to use a white pen to whack in some details, which is why the perfect painting, if you like, isn't quite so serious. Now, I can tell you for nothing, I don't have a single flower that looks like this on my allotment. Um, I'm not sure that such a thing exists, uh, but that's why we come here and do this, so that we can, we can create things that don't necessarily exist. That's why our hobby's so great, isn't it? You love dipping the flowers into it, gives them some flower but blend. That's it. Uh, yeah, so another way you could do it is... Oh, I'll do that one in a second then. I'm just trying to avoid having to put any more ink on this uh, blending mat. Oh, this is the... If anyone wanted to know, this is the A3 of the uh, Be Crafted blending mats. See, I'm going to need to do some more ink because that one's got no pink on it. So we'll leave them there for just a second. Uh, 
I'm slightly concerned that the colour isn't showing up for you guys as well as it's showing up for me. Um, because they do seem super bright. But hey, there we are. So, bring the book back in. It's getting quite windy out. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm just putting those on there because I'm going to heat set them hopefully and uh, it means that I'm not heating onto my blending mat which if it's a very very quick waft it will always be fine but it's not designed to be heated on it is a plastic I'll just choose that to hold it down. <laughs> so what we can do now is essentially play the colours off against each other. So this one's going to look great effectively there because it's got the uh, peacock feathers behind it. That one's going to look nice over here. This one there because it's got the pink so it brings it to the brings it to the top i don't know what that is it's like i was throwing something out yet i promise i wasn't and then this one i think that one's gonna sit there what i don't want them to do is match see i like that Okay, now I am not going to stick them down just yet. I'm going to grab. Uh oh, oh yeah, going to grab. Oh, panic then. I thought, I'm sure I put those away. I... <laughs> I'll just very gently and delicately grab my moonlight pens. Like I say, not going to stick them down just in case I change my mind. But then the peacock feathers. It's kind of a bit of a mixture of these two blues, so I feel like that one. And that's the thing, you can just sort of move things around your page, see what works. And then we quite often, so this one, I'm just going to gently add in a few. So where Bev's put the detail in, Bev will often say to you in lives, any pens that you use, Add in extra detail. The designs that we do, we're doing them for you guys. And if stuff, it's going to give you lines to work with or places to go with things. Sorry if you can hear the creaking. I don't live in a haunted house. It's just that's the noise that that door makes. And it's half term. So Harry's home. Although that's Mark. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is just adding in. But yeah, so we say add in, add in the detail where you want it. Um, if these lines give you somewhere to go and a, a way to do that, then do that. So if I just pop that on there, I know how this worked last time, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Mm, gently. So it's just added in some of the detail. Matches the colour that's behind it. Perfect. Now, this one... I'm going to do a little bit just from the tips of the leaves. Sit that there. That one's not getting any of this colour on, neither is that one, that one is. But this one I'm going to go from the base of the leaves. Not on all of them. Yeah. 
Has anybody ever done that thing with flowers where you put them in some coloured, like you cut the stems and then you put food colouring in or something? This is probably one of those things that's absolute rubbish. But you put some um, food colouring into the stems and it alters the colour of the petals. Is that one of those things that I've read and is actually not true and I should be less gullible? I don't mind if that's the case, it's no issue. And that one's going to sit on there. And I'll oh, see now this one feels left out, doesn't it? Oh, it works with white flowers. Okay. Well, you know. No, that's fine. And then the white pen from the same set. Brilliant white pen. So just adding in some little dot details. Just a bit up these sort of petal lines. Not all of them because it's highlights rather than I'm trying to bring the white back in. If you get what I mean. Oh, um, these, if anyone wants to know, these are stamped onto linen cardstock. I'm trying to think of the things that people ask me. Before you do. I mean, it's like I'm trying to predict you. As if that could work. I love the delicacy of this pen. It's so good. And those sort of little white pops. Florists do it all the time. Wowee. That's so cool. I think I'm happier that it's not um, a made up thing that I totally believed. <laughs> you know, I feel less gullible now than I did uh, approximately five minutes ago. I like stuff like that though. So does Bev, she's more sciencey than me. Elsa may bark any second. The dog has just barked out the back. So uh, if you have dogs in the room, uh, please just be prepared. Right. This needs some white. I'm now wondering if they all need some white. Just a little, just a little bit, you know, just to set it away. like an hour isn't it <laughs> ah thank you Annie have a lovely afternoon she's barking because it's so windy and whilst I know it isn't going to I think she thinks it's about to lift the lid off the conservatory I mean if it does that I think I've got bigger problems than her barking but you know she's protecting me in the way that she thinks is best And there's not much to say about that, is there? That's it, it does. It does sort of just change how they look. You need white pens. This white pen, whilst it is part of a set, these pens are all brilliant. Um, I vouch for them wholeheartedly. Um, now, I am fully aware I love all pens and I know that I... You know, I rave about my eco lines and things like that. Um, but they 
can't the same as these can't do what an eco line does uh, the eco lines can't do what these do like you can watercolor with these the the brightness of the color is great uh, but you can't use them as a brush tip the same as um, the accuracy in the fine lines you can't get with an eco line the same as you would with this because of the way the nib is sorry just gonna mix that in with the blue there and there, I think I've changed the orientation of this particular one four or five times now um, and I suppose the only way I'm gonna definitely know where it's going is when I stick it down sunshine and shower there it's a, we did have a little shower this morning um, despite my what I refer to as my geekometer um, promising me that we were getting no rain today you know here we are now some words ah again in my uh, stumpy outy pot I just like to get lots of bits ready. <laughs> oh, it's a bit white, isn't it? I literally just chopped amazing off. So if I was to put that one that way and change the orientation of that one to that way then that could sit under there couldn't it? With a flag post Well that's good, I've just put a nice orange thumbprint across it That's okay, we're going to style that out in just a minute. So this is just sort of working towards how this page is going to look. I love these words. They are, I think it's them being so bold. And with a page like this, that is what you need. Now I can wholeheartedly tell you that this page is not entirely dry right now <laughs> um, but that's okay so for example if you were going to use your um, your Posca pen on here I would suggest not to tell I would suggest that you um, either dried it far more thoroughly than I have um, or you um, leave it overnight and then put your Posca pen work on the following day Make sense? So I promised you just but a moment ago we were going to style out uh, my orange thumbprint. That's true. Let's grab a tool and a domey foamy and very gently, so like, like very gently, the smallest amount of colour on there and we're just going to stipple that onto there. And it looks like it was meant to happen. Ta-da! And then we'll do the same with this one. Now again, because this is on linen card, it's got a slight texture to it. That's nice. Then we go back to that pen that we were just using. I mean, have I even done a live with you guys if I don't do this?
only one line around the edge today. I normally do three, don't I? But a change is apparently as good as a rest. So, it's almost, almost finished. Um, for me, we need to just put a little bit of black onto the page. And, well, we were going to, oh, here it is. Yeah. So, it's going to be that one. We're going to do that with... That's it. Through the text inkable. So I've just realised I've now I'm, I'm working in a four inch square. Just putting that on in little pieces. How will I be adhering the words? They're, they're not stuck down at the minute. I will show you that. Just give me a second and I will get that for you. There we go. That's it. That's all I wanted to do in terms of the those black words. Let me put that there and that over there. Oh, I feel like I've got myself in a right pickle today. <laughs> Elsa. Okay. We are ready to go. Elsa. So. So you could use collage matte medium. Um, you can any of your um, adhesive glossy accents. Uh, I'm going to use this one today, which is the Dino Wakely Media Ultra Thick Gel Medium. Um, it's just going to set these flowers away a little bit, which is what I want. Give me palette knife. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, this is where I start to panic about this stuff. I've only got half a pot left. Um, so this will need left to dry. And so what I've just done there, Sherry, is that's it stuck. That's that's where it is now. Now. I will stick this on first. Because I can tuck this in behind it now this will stay raised if you want it to the thicker you apply it to whatever you're sticking down the thicker it will be so that one's not too thick because it's at the um at the bottom there i don't want it to catch I've just realised I've got the two same at the bottom, but never mind. I don't suppose it matters, does it? So this one, I've applied it to the sort of inner part of that. The great thing about this is because it's wet, it's still movable. So if I want to change anything, I've actually still got time. So for example, if I wanted to change that now, I could. I don't. It's going to stay there like pushed all the ink the, right, the glue the wrong way there but yeah so that'll stay there and then this one last but by no means least i 
there we go we are nearly there ladies gotcha right so there we go it doesn't leave me with a lot to do here but there is one thing I'm going to do I'm going to grab a black pen where has that gone Aha. so this is a uh, a Secura Pigma Micron 08 which is the thickest one um, so if you're just writing with it it's quite thick um, I'm just wondering if it's gonna be thick enough or whether I need to go full-on like Posca Sharpie let's see what it does I've just realized that I think this is my old one <laughs> Elsa cupcake sorry I didn't see that one coming the man next door is having his bathroom done and has chosen now ah yeah see that was the old one chose this very moment to uh, start sanding so that's good isn't it Now, as you know, I never want these lines to match. I just think they frame the page nicely. I mean, I don't do these on every page, but I do do them on a lot of pages. I just like it. And the thing about your art journaling is it has to work for you. And there she is. Done. I can't possibly put it. Oh, see, I've got those mixed up again. I cannot bear to put another thing on that page. It's very colourful for me, isn't it? See, I feel a little bit, little bit proud of myself. <laughs> which is so silly um but once again i have absolutely loved spending the afternoon with you um yeah thank you for having me you are very wonderful um i hope whatever you are doing with the rest of your wednesday it's spectacular um and i will um i'll get a still of this page once it's all dried and a photograph on uh, the video will remain here for all of eternity probably not that long but you know what i mean um and if you have any questions or want to know anything about it please just send us a message and we will do what we can i hope you have a lovely rest of your day thank you again take care bye <laughs>